shadow of Wembley Stadium, the London borough of Brent is one of the places the virus could make an unwelcome return. It worries local GPs because they're in the dark about how many of their patients are testing positive. We are not getting the results. It's going uh, to the patients. And unless the patients inform us, we have no way of finding out whether they are positive or not. That must be a frustration. A uh, real frustration because we can't then trace the contacts and we can't advise them what to do. In England, Scotland and Northern Ireland, swabs from hospital patients or NHS staff go to NHS-run labs and the results are swiftly published, broken down by local authority area. But swabs from people who use drive-through centres or home testing kits are sent to large commercial laboratories. The results are then analysed centrally for signs of outbreaks developing. Most tests are now being done in the community rather than in hospitals and they can provide a vital early warning of a spike of infections. So councils and GPs have been clamouring for weeks to get access to that data too, rather than just having to wait to be told that there's an outbreak on their patch. The government says last week it did start sharing postcode level data with local authorities, not before time, according to doctors' leaders. We need to try and prevent the need for local lockdowns and the only way you do that is by having up-to-date, real-time data about the infection, where there are new cases and where it appears that those new cases are rising to act promptly with a agile contact tracing system. From the start, Wales did put all lab results into a single database, while the rest of the UK set up two parallel systems. I think there was a desperation at the beginning simply to do the testing. So the focus was on the testing, so we thought there was a real rush to just deliver the testing numbers without really thinking about the consequences of setting up a separate data stream. While Leicester tries to bring its outbreak under control, swift lessons need to be learned if other parts of the UK are to avoid going the same way. Catherine Jones, 5 News.